So this Tobacco University video is going to take into account the threat of humans to cannabis plants. And this is the threat of humans outside of the grower, your neighbors and people around you, um, what threats they can pose to cannabis plants. All right, let's get into the threat of humans to cannabis plants. So first off, people and the cannabis crops. Well, after all the challenges of growing, people can be another issue that's worth mentioning. Two main methods of negative impacts uh, can be complaints as well as physical damage. When some growers will set this uh, signs up, uh, stop, you're on camera, uh, about the plants that they're growing. Uh, they don't want to see, they don't want to see anybody. Uh, they don't want anyone to steal anything and rightfully so. So keep this in mind that humans are another kind of quote unquote pest you need to be mindful of. So when we're looking at the complaint uh, end of things, before you start growing an, an operation, it's wise to inform your neighbors. For indoor growing, this may mean the need to add a, additional carbon filters or other means to reduce odor of the plants because some people simply just do not like or can't stand the odor. Outdoor growing, it's good practice to let others know and show them paperwork if you have it regarding your license to ensure that they don't necessarily get surprised all these cannabis plants coming in. Uh, they know you're doing it in a legit manner. Then know your local regulations. So no matter the size of your operations, know your local and current laws regarding, regarding can, cannabis cultivation. Some are very loose regulations, others are much more stringent. Be aware of the total plant number, number that you have in veg and flower, what those approved varieties and so on. You want to make sure you know your laws, your rules, your regulations, and that you are also in compliance with all of those. Now for outdoor growers, uh, we're looking at the are suggested that they may want to post signs that state no trespassing at property boundaries uh, and also maybe inform people if they're growing industrial hemp with no THC to encourage people not to be removing plants. Be also on the lookout for trespassers as this can involve the use of cameras and monitoring systems as we see right here. I'll file a trespass action request form if this applies to your area. If you do catch someone, um, this can offer a formal documentation of that. Secure your property. Use of fences can make it clear boundary lines. Patrol your property as this can help you catch a potential issue early. Utilize your local neighborhood watch. Have others in your area contact you if they see something suspicious. Part of that local network. All this is advised uh, to try to limit the negative impact other humans can have on your cannabis crop.